Thank you to Ring for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be spring cleaning outside. We are also going to be decorating our front porch area and then we're going to move to our back patio. You guys saw us decorate that several months ago when we moved in. It's been a while since we've done anything out there. So we're really going to be cleaning out there as well. And then also kind of doing like a spring refresh and just giving a little bit more life into that space. So we do have a lot to get done. So let's jump to it. I wanna hear you say it. So here is a before of our front porch and I love to decorate it for the seasons and just kind of liven it up a bit, but this is kind of our base. So we typically have this textured rug with a doormat as well as a bench on the far side and then this little table and chair set in front of the window and I don't really change those out typically, but instead I'll just kind of build on those by adding pops of color and seasonal items and it's just amazing how the small touches that you add can truly transform the space. So I just just wanted to give you guys a quick before shot before we go ahead and jump into everything. So as you can see, we are jumping right into the spring cleaning out here. We are pulling everything into the driveway and we're just power washing everything just with water. If you have a power washer, definitely take advantage of it during spring cleaning. They are really so versatile and just clean your outdoor areas and furniture super, super well. Like honestly, you don't really even need soap a lot of times. You can do a lot with just the water. And I can promise you no matter what your treasure because I know I've been there It's time to get up off the ground Cause it's gonna turn around I know you can't be bound And the sky is falling down But when the sun comes out It's gonna get better I'll always be around And when the sun comes out It's gonna get better Even when the lights burn out There's a lightning in the clouds And it's gonna get better It's always amazing to me to see how quickly things dry down here in Arizona. It's barely April here and the sun is already becoming so intense. And you saw how soaking wet the power washer got everything. And by the time Kyle finished washing the walls and the floor, the furniture and the rugs were about 90% dry. I know we always joke about it, especially over on the vlog channel, that the heat is so dry here, but it really is just so, so dry here. But I would love to hear what the weather is like where you live right now. Is it sunny and similar to us? or are you still having some chilly weather we are definitely getting into like 80s and 90 degrees and honestly we are just loving it so much we kind of can't wait till it gets a little bit hotter and we can start using the pool and just kind of get into more of like that Arizona summer Now that everything is nice and clean, we power washed everything. I would say it's like 90% dry at least. We just set everything back down and now I'm gonna grab the different items that I either have been picking up or things that we've just had for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of bring everything out so we can start putting it together. Every 
So when I was looking through our house and at a few stores and I was just kind of finding some items to decorate out here, I really wanted it to be simple, but also really colorful, especially because we're decorating for spring. So I have just a couple of pieces that I thought would make a really big impact, but also feel cohesive and not overpowering. Like this wreath that I'm showing here, also the throw pillows and some planters. And I also have this adorable little birdhouse. I feel like these will all work really well, but you also won't feel overwhelmed when you walk into the space. still have so much to do but we actually have to run to the store to get a few things specifically we need to get some plants for the pots that I had picked up over the last several weeks so we're gonna go ahead and run to the store and then we'll come back and finish everything up up here so whenever we leave the house we always arm our home using our ring security system we have had a ring for almost four years now, so I'm super excited to be teaming up with the ring and upgrading our home to the new Ring Alarm Pro. I cannot even tell you the peace of mind it's provided us over the past few years and how much comfort we've felt in knowing that our home is protected through the help of Ring. And recently, we were able to upgrade to the Ring Alarm Pro, which is the new standard in home security. One thing we love is how incredibly easy it is to install and use. You just start by downloading the Ring app, then plug in the base station and follow the simple setup instructions to add cameras, keypads, door and window sensors, and other accessories. And installing the sensors and accessories is super easy a lot of times you can just attach them to your wall with screws or for a lot of the items it's just peel and stick and it's as easy as that then you can just use the app on your phone to control the system and you can see everything in the app check on cameras arm or disarm the system the app just makes the ring alarm pro so convenient and helpful we also love that through the app you can always check on your home while you're out so you can see when packages get delivered get notified of any unusual activity and with a ring protect pro subscription you can enroll in 24 7 professional monitoring where emergency responders will show up if needed even if you're away back from the store we got some plants we also got some bird seed <laughs> to put in my little bird feeder i'm hoping the birds will make too much of a mess but i'm hoping they'll enjoy it i also got this board it's actually just like a prefabricated shelf it was decently cheaper than straight wood pieces that i would have to either paint or stain and this one has like a nice finish on it and everything so all i'm gonna do is make like some vinyl lettering. I think I'll say like, oh, hello or something. I don't know, but basically just do like a little DIY door sign. Oh, we also found a table for the back patio, which we've been wanting to find one and we happened to find one on sale today. So we picked that up and once we're done with up here, we'll kind of head to the back. I don't know if we're gonna end up getting to that today or if it'll be tomorrow, but either way, we're gonna put together that table and get that all set up back there too.
So of course, no DIY is complete without some sort of hiccup. And in spite of all the struggles, I feel like it did turn out super cute. But I started out with a shelving board, like the kind that you would use for a closet shelf or a shelf with brackets. And I actually kind of think that this was the main reason why the DIY was kind of a struggle. And that's because I think the finish on the board was actually too smooth and it just made it hard for the vinyl to really adhere to the board. But anyway, I just started out by designing my letters, cut them out on matte white vinyl, and then with lots of patience, I stuck them to the board. But like I said, this project was a bit more of a struggle than I was planning, but you totally can't see the imperfections unless if you're up close, and I just love how it turned out. That went about as good as I should have expected it to go. It actually turned out pretty well, but there were some hiccups and there were some areas that did not turn out perfectly, but I don't think you're really gonna notice, especially like as a whole. And the nice thing about using vinyl is I can literally just take it down, you do the sign or flip it or whatever. So I'll show you kind of like final product of it and then we'll put it up. Something that I knew right away I wanted to do on the front porch for spring was to add color. You guys know I love my neutrals, but out front, and especially during springtime, the whole front of the house is honestly just a big neutral, so this is just the perfect time of year to add those really vibrant pops of color and just fully embrace it. I feel like even when I add color on the inside, I try to make those colors kind of neutral and I really didn't want to do that out here. So one of the things I picked up were these lifelike faux tulips from Amazon and I have them linked in my Amazon favorites. They ended up being one of my favorite, most impactful additions to our front porch. I'm sure some of you guys are laughing at me, but I totally realized this was not a bird feeder and instead was a true birdhouse. But I realized it after I was already adding in the bird seeds, so I just went with it. So you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think about the front porch makeover and what was your favorite part. And also, because I feel like you guys have a lot of good ideas, I would also love to know if there's anything that you would have done differently. Hello, hello, it is the next day. We actually could have gotten a little bit more done yesterday, but once we finished the front porch, the boys were getting home from school, then we started getting into football. I don't know if your guys' kids are into any sports. All three of our boys are doing football currently, and so that's just taking up a lot of time. Thankfully, they do really enjoy it, so it's all worth it, but it's just kind of running our life right now. Anyway, we just figured it would be a lot easier once the kids got off to school today to go ahead and start here on the back patio. So that's what we're gonna be tackling today. If you remember that patio makeover, 
makeover video we shared when we first moved in the house. We haven't really done much to the space other than we did put this new console table in because we moved the other one <laughs> to the upstairs balcony. Today we are going to first start out by kind of decluttering in here, cleaning up everything. We really want to power wash and get things all nice and clean for spring. And then the backyard is really like the only area in the house that we haven't had ring cameras set up. So we're going to go ahead and install those. That way everything is kind of covered by the cameras. And then I think I mentioned this, but we did find a table yesterday when we were out. So we are going to be adding that, I think, right here. We're kind of going to find how it will work out in this space. But we've been really looking for a table. So we're really excited to add that in. And then we also have some new plants that we are going to add in. We tried some last year. I don't know if you can see those dead plants over there. It did not work out as I had hoped. So I think I might have picked some better plants this year. Fingers crossed I can make them work out here. Otherwise, we'll have to bring them inside. And then last but not least, we're going to be decorating and kind of refreshing it for spring, especially since we're going to be spending a lot more time out here now that the weather's getting really nice. And so we want to make it just a little bit more inviting. So we're going to go ahead and tackle all of that right now. In South Australia, I was born. In South Australia, round Cape Horn. All the way, you're rolling king. All the way, you'll hear me sing. We're bound for South Australia. As I walked out one morning, fair heave away. All the way, it was there I met Miss Nancy Blair. We're bound for South Australia. There's just one thing that's on my mind. Heave away. All the way, that's leaving Nancy Blair behind. We're bound for South Australia. And as we wallop around Cape Horn, heave away. All the way, you wish to God you've never been born. We're bound for South Australia. All the way, you're rolling king. Heave away, all the way, all the way, you'll hear me sing. We're bound for South Australia. To start out on the back patio, I'm just cleaning up chalk and random bits. Let me know if your backyard stays tidy or is it kind of like ours? I feel like ours tends to get cluttered with random things, mostly kids items or socks because whenever our boys go jump on the trampoline and they toss their shoes and socks off, I feel like they have the hardest time remembering to bring their little socks inside. So we always have socks like cluttering throughout the grass. Kind of drives us nuts, but I know that there will be a point where we won't have socks all over our grass and and kind of miss that. So now that we have the patio generally picked up, we wanted to go ahead and add some additional ring cameras to our backyard area. One is going to be overlooking our back doors to help with some home security, as well as a camera overlooking the pool for safety. And just like I had mentioned earlier, the setup on all the ring products is super easy. It took Kyle just a few minutes to set up each camera, and then we figured out where we wanted them and he attached them to the wall. You'll also see in just a minute, they have solar panels that attach right to the cameras. So we installed those on the cameras as well to supply a little extra power. And here you can see some of the shots that the ring cameras picked up as we were setting them up. I've learned I'm kind of like a mouth breather. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> So another really cool thing about Ring is that since everything goes through the app, you can control it remotely. And because of that, we actually set up a Ring security system at Kyle's dad's house in Montana a few years ago after his motorcycle accident. And we did that to not only give his dad comfort, but also for Kyle in knowing that his dad and his home were protected while he was away in a rehabilitation center for several months. This gave us the opportunity to check on his dad's home from the app while he was in the rehab center and while we were thousands of miles away and states away. Like I said, we have had Ring for about four years now and we just cannot say enough good things about Ring and with the new Ring Alarm Pro, they just keep getting better and better. So if you want to check out Ring, I will have all of their information in the description box. So just click the link below to learn more about the Ring Alarm Pro. All right, 
we got everything cleared off for the most part or anything that we really don't want to get wet we also have the new cameras installed that would be so nice just like extra comfort knowing that everything's a little bit more secure on the house and now we are ready to blow everything off kyle has his like leaf blower thing so i think that's going to be the easiest way to do this and then we're also going to pressure wash not just the floor but like the rug and things like that and just kind of get things nice and clean and then i'll also end up cleaning off this table So again, we went ahead and pulled out our power washer and we are power washing with just water today, but it is amazing the difference it makes. As you can probably tell, it just makes everything so much cleaner and so shiny and it just gives you a brand new slate. Now, I don't know why, but I personally feel a little bit intimidated to use a pressure washer all by myself. I really don't know why that is. So I'm sure you guys may have noticed whenever you guys see us using our power washer, Kyle is always the one to do that. So maybe one of the next times we have to pull it out, I will give Kyle a little break and give it a go myself. I know a girl who's so fine, she's running laps around my heart. She's more than perfect, she's not the type to go play a part. She came and killed my whole life, and just like Mike Tyson, now I'm here seeing stars. I could take all of my time just trying to describe her. I don't know where to start. All my life, I knew she's my best. Girl, you 
All right, you guys will have to let us know if you have any ideas on like different configurations in here. Really the only thing that's stuck is the TV. It's gonna be mounted on this wall. We typically like the fireplace just like kind of in front of that, but honestly like anything can change other than the TV. So let me know what you guys think. This is kind of how we have it right now with these two chairs, they like swivel. And we have the egg chair. We ended up just kind of tucking that back if we want to sit and like watch TV, we can always pull it out. Then we have a little table set right there. So I think this this is at least how we're gonna keep it for today. But if you guys have any good ideas, let me know in the comments. Um, but we do love the table. I think it's gonna be so functional for us and so practical. We're always like wanting to come eat dinners out here, or breakfast or whatever. So this one is nice because it's like between like a high top and a regular low one. It's kind of like, I don't know what size exactly this is, but it's just like a really nice height. And then also in here, is a fire pit we have to add the rocks but that will be really cool to use that as a fire pit area too so yeah let me know what you guys think another option is to move this egg chair maybe up to the balcony that might be like better up there i'm not really sure i don't know it's a, like a little bit of a tricky space like it's like a large patio but because we have the doors on both sides and then the windows it's just kind of like a little bit of a tricky space to kind of organize and decorate or style i guess we can be falling apart. Ah, ah. I, just, I just liked your sound effect. You're like slightly scared. Ah. I do wish I could make you laugh the same way you make me laugh. I wish you could too. Kyle, that is so rude. All right, finally, we are ready to get these plants into their new pots. Kyle totally kept teasing me at the store by asking the plants if they wanted to come home and die at our house which I don't really have much room to talk when it comes to my recent outdoor plants, but I will say I have kept a majority of our indoor plants alive for years, so I'm pretty happy with that. But this time when I was picking plants, I specifically picked plants that said drought resistant, and that way I'm hoping that they'll be a little bit hardier and just make it a little easier for them to survive a bit better out here. But if you have any tips for me at all on outdoor potted plants, I would be so, so happy and grateful to hear those tips.
All right, we have all the plants planted or potted. I, have, I don't even know if you can see it, but I have dirt under my fingernails. Now we are just going to put the rugs back up, bring the plants in, and then just kind of decorate a bit out here and kind of spruce it up. We have everything all like set up, how we're gonna keep it at least for now, but we'll just make it a little bit more inviting. He's ever gonna look. He is not. Snake plants don't die. Oh, I bet. Okay, let's take a bet. How long do you think? Four months. I think this guy's gonna be with us for mostly life. Oh no. oh no. It's okay, I'll help you. Okay, I'm gonna drop that piece too. Okay. This guy is gonna be dead in four months. No, he won't. He is a really tough snake plants, never die. He's never been to our house. Especially the back patio. It's about to be hot out here. Like that? Uh, yeah, maybe like a little bit more. There we go, yeah. Like that? One more, a little bit. No, half that. Left. There we go, perfect. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So this tray is both a functional piece as well as a decorative item and I've shared so many makeovers with you guys over the years but if you watch my makeovers you know I always try to add function first above everything else but at the same time I do also want to create a beautiful space so when those two things overlap it's just such a win. So as for the functionality of that tray I plan to use it when we have gatherings out here just to help save several trips to and from the kitchen and I can just go ahead and pile everything on the tray and then for the decor aspect i just love how bright it is and especially the addition of texture i feel like that adds so much to a space Okay, so the last touch out here is to add some bright pops of color and texture with, of course, some throw pillows. You guys know I love my throw pillows and I have to say it is very easy to overdo it when decorating, especially with throw pillows. But I tried several different options and I ended up going with a few less than I first started with just because a lot of times less is more and you really don't want to overdo things. So I pulled a few of those throw pillows out and ended up with just a couple and I love how it turned out. So that is going to be everything for today's video. I love how the front porch turned out. It was just so bright and vibrant. And then of course, I'm sure you can tell I love this back patio area. I feel like we have been spending so much more time out here as a family. We've been eating dinners. We actually ended up picking up a couple more chairs. So we do have a total of six chairs now, which is perfect for our family of five. 
And then I just love all the plants that we added in, all the white and colorful touches that we added. I feel like it just gave so much life to this space and it's just created a really inviting and cohesive space that we can enjoy together as a family and invite our friends and family over. I just cannot wait for the summer season. And before you go, I did want to remind you guys to check out Ring. I will have their information all down below. And again, thank you to Ring for sponsoring this video. As always, thank you so, so much for being here. I am so incredibly grateful that you chose to spend some time with me today. And if you have not already subscribed, I would love for you to hit subscribe and join the family. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh, I put the robot! Oh, I put